Momentum. In physics, momentum is the product of mass and velocity. The greater the product of this, this equation, the greater the momentum. In science, there are two types of momentum, angular momentum and linear momentum, which concern different types of moving objects. Linear momentum. Linear momentum, also known as force, is the quantity of mass associated with the body that moves along a straight path. An outside object with, a, with its own force can change the trajectory of an object with a linear momentum. For example, if you are running forward and a dog run to you by an accident, your trajectory will change, will be changed and you may fall. However, you should not get hurt too badly because the momentum of the dog was similar to yours. However, if you get hit by a truck which has a higher linear momentum because of its high weight, you will be lucky to survive. That's because the truck's force is higher than yours. The study of linear momentum also used to understand and predict how things change trajectory when they collide with another object. So here we have um, a boy, a boy uh, with with the mass of forty eight kilograms riding riding a bike a bike with with the mass of sixty kilo sixty kilograms uh, with the velocity with the with the velocity velocity of uh, 30 miles per hour so we have to find the we have to find the the momentum of this uh so we could so first we're gonna find the momentum momentum of the of the of the boy with the velocity with the 30 velocity and the second we find the bike velocity the bike velocity with the 30 miles an hour and at the end we're gonna find the the total net velocity uh, momentum of the system uh, total we find the found the total thing for okay so the first one we go so the formula was a uh, p equals I mean uh, momentum equals to mass times velocity so we will go first with the boy so the boy mass is 48 kilogram times the velocity is 30 30 miles per hour so so when uh, 48 times 30 is 1440 kilograms miles per hour so that's this is the momentum for the boy so now we will go for the so this was the first one now we're gonna go for the momentum of the for the uh, the bike so the bike mass was 60 kilograms so 60 kilograms times 30 miles per hour that is that's when 60 times that it's one 1800 kilograms miles per hour so that's the momentum for the bike and now we will go for the net uh, momentum of all these things so we, what we gonna do so first of all we gonna we will uh, so the boy uh, mass was uh, 48 kilograms we will add these numbers okay add these masses so the first mass was 48 and the second mass was 60 60 kilo 
kilograms and then we will multiply that with the weather with we will uh, multiply it with the velocity with 30 miles per hour so when we gonna when we add these two it's 100 100 kilograms times 30 miles per hour so our net uh, net momentum is when we multiply these two it's 3240 kilograms miles per hour so this is our net uh, net momentum for uh, for this is for this example so in this example we have a uh, suppose a, a core is coming from this direction and another core is coming from this direction so this core that is coming that uh, the mass of this core is one ten one thousand kilograms and it's coming with the velocity of so mass and we're coming with the velocity of 80 meters per second and, uh, and this this uh, this object or this core has the mass of uh, it has also 1000 uh, 1000 kilograms and it's coming with a velocity of 60 meters per second so now so first we have to find so the formula was uh, moment the product of mass times velocity so for this for the first object is something like when the way we multiply so it's something like eight two three four so this is a kilogram meters meters per second this is the moment for the first the first object and for the second object that's something like a 60 kilograms meters per second so now we're gonna find for the for the so as long as this object is moving this direction and this object moving in this direction so this object is moving in this direction it is it has a positive value and when this subject is moving towards left it has a negative value so now if if we want to find the net momentum of the system we just uh, uh, subtract each uh, from each other like when we like suppose this is p1 and this is p2 so we're gonna subtract uh, p2 from p1 and we're gonna get the p and i mean the net net uh, momentum so when we 80,000 minus 60,000 so what we're gonna get is the p net is equal to 20,000 20,000 kilograms meters per second that is for this example so here is some example like suppose we have we have a mass of mass of uh, 1950 kilogram in the velocity of 15 meters per second so suppose we have a we have a car that's going with the speed of uh, 15 meters per second that's the velocity and now we have to find the uh, find the momentum how much moment this car has so um, the formula for the moment is so it's something like p equals to mass times velocity so the p is for p means and uh, this this symbol p means that uh, it shows the momentum of the object so we don't have the so m is already taken for mass so we can we don't have so due to that reason there is the the symbol of momentum is p so this is our formula so we'll put that the things that we have we'll put that in the formula like p is equal to 
math we have we got 950 kilo 1950 kilogram mass times velocity it's a uh, 15 meters per second so now we will we multiply those things P is equal to when we multiply 19 uh, 1950 kilogram mass times 15 so it's something like it's equal to 29,250 50 kilogram meter per second so that's our final answer for the moment that this car has the momentum of this much momentum this car has so that's it for this example